So let's take a look at how we put a quadratic function into standard form if our leading coefficient is not 1. So standard form is f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. We call it this, this the standard form because we can read off the vertex. That's the point down at the bottom of our graph. The general form, if this is all multiplied out, we know is ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's look at this example where a is equal to 2, f of x equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. And first I have to show you the really ugly way, which is completing the square. So let's write y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we want to complete the square on this but we can only complete the square if the leading coefficient is 1, and as we've just said, right now it's 2. So to force it to be 1, what I'm going to do is divide both sides of my equation by 2, which is totally legal because I'm doing it to both sides. So now, that left side is going to be y over 2, and I'm going to let that 2 live there until I'm ready. And on the right side, the 2 goes into each of the coefficients. So I'll have x squared minus 5 halves x, now before I write that 3, write 2 into the 6, I'm going to move that off to the side and give myself a little working room. So remember completing the square, I need to force a perfect square trinomial in right there. So I take my x coefficient, 5 halves, I know it's negative but I'm squaring things so it goes away. And then I need half of that. So half of 5 halves is 5 fourths, and then I'm going to square it. And add it. Inside there, now what's inside that little blue box is a perfect square trinomial. But you might be freaking out because I have an equation and I just added 5 fourths squared to the right hand side. So you can either balance by adding it over here or what I'm going to do is balance by subtracting the exact same amount from the exact same side. So there's a net gain of 0 here on the right side but don't cancel them because I need this first one here to get a perfect square trinomial. So as soon as you have that, we're going to factor what was in the blue box. So I still have y over 2. So that factors x, the sine of your x term, minus. And then the constant term is whatever was in the parentheses before you squared it. So 5 fourths. And then out here, you have to square this guy, get a common denominator. And if you'll trust me, and I know you will because you don't want to do the work yourselves. Check it, though. I think it's 23 sixteenths. Almost done. One more step, and that's to bring the 2 back across. So multiply both sides by 2. It's going to cancel on the left, and on the right, 1 goes in front of your parentheses, and 1 multiplies the constant term. So there they go. There's my y. 2 times x minus 5 fourths squared plus 23 eighths. So what's so much better about this than the one we started with up here? Well, now I know what the vertex is. I know where my parabola has been moved. 5 fourths, 23 eighths. Okay, so I'm going to show you two ways. That was the ugly way, and if your teacher asks to see the ugly way, you're probably only going to get points if you go through all of that work. The other way is, is that we can kind of cheat and use our vertex formula that you might remember. So remember the vertex formula. And I only know the first part, h equals negative b over 2a. And then I get k by evaluating my function at whatever I get for h. So let's go ahead and look at our same function, y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. a is 2 and b is negative 5. So that h is equal to negative b, so the opposite of b, so 5 over 2a, so that'll be 4. Now I know what h is. To find k, I need to take 5 fourths and plug it into my function. So 2 times 5 fourths squared minus 5 times 5 fourths plus 6. I'm going to totally leave it to you to verify that that turns out to be 23 over 8. Same as I know what my answer is supposed to be and I don't want to do the math right now. So I'm about ready to finish. I know h, I know k, I know a. If I look at my standard form, right, those are my unknowns to fill in. I'm ready to write it down. f of x equals a, being played by 2, 
times x minus h being played by 5 over 4 squared plus k. And if you don't believe me, you square up that binomial, distribute the 2, bring in the 23 eighths, and I promise, right, we get right back here. All right, good luck.